One day, I received this message from my friend, said that our common friend from college recently visited this place called Artec House NYC, located in Middle Manhattan. It's a technology museum that has the innovative art destination, dedicated to the intersection of art, science, and technology. And on their link says, "The nation's first." Ooh, for a design graduate. I don't want to miss it, so my friend and I set a date and searched up for a restaurant in advance, where we will go for lunch after Arctic House. I went out early that day. Unfortunately, MTA got a problem announced right after I got on in just ten minutes. I was trapped in the subway. As the time passed, I thought I would be late, but I didn't expect it to know through text message with my friends that we were surprisingly both on the same subway, which avoided the embarrassment of being late. When we arrived at the Arctic House. The staff checked the hours and a few other people's tickets, and rejected the late customers who tried to continue in. For the prevention of the corona, the customers are required to go inside as separate small groups. Staff was first to show us a short introduction film about what the Artec House is, founding history, and what we can expect it to see. After the film play finished, we entered the main lobby. Inside was dark; no tube lights were on, except the light image reflected by the technology player was shining. The most eye-catching and intriguing thing is the giant theater downstairs. Three big walls were used as the screens of the entire film. Content played is the cool special effects commonly seen in many Hollywood movies. Each scene was slow played and will stay for one to two minutes, creating the mood. The angle of views was all drone shooting. For example, advancing on an unknown planet surrounded with mushroom-shaped plants. Or flying toward the treasure in the middle from the edge of the cliff, inside the ancient ruins covered with gold. At all the times of looking around at the other artifacts, we stayed there for more than an hour in total. Next, we went to this classic Georgian restaurant named Chama Ch Um Chama Mama for lunch. Oh, Mama Mia! This was my first time having Georgian cuisine. I was hesitant on what to eat, so I ended up with choosing the same order as my friend, giving my first try to this cuisine named A D J A R U L I Kachapuri. It's a plate-shaped bread with melted cheese inside. I got a little bit nauseous after eating about half of the cheese. If cheese was mixed with meat and vegetables, that would be awesome. The post-production for next documentary project of my workplace is about to start. Things will get busy. I'm very happy to be able to hang out with my friend before that. The next time college friends meet up would be after two months. April twelfth, twenty twenty-one.